Hello children. Today in Geography Class 6 Lesson 5, I am going to start Major Domains of the Earth. In this lesson, you will learn about the all four major domains of the Earth. And I am going to start Part 1. So you know Earth is the only planet which has life. There are four major domains of the Earth. Lithosphere, Atmosphere, Hydrosphere and Biosphere. So these are the four major kingdoms. You can say domains means a big kingdoms just like a kingdoms. And the surface of the Earth is a very complex zone in which three main components of the environment meet, overlap and interact about three main components means land, air and water. Land means lithosphere, air means atmosphere and water means hydrosphere. We are talking about these three main components who used to meet together or sometimes overlapping is there or sometimes interaction is there among these three elements. Now this is the map of the seven continents, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia and Australia and about the oceans, Pacific Atlantic, then Indian, then Arctic and Southern Ocean. Lithosphere, the solid portion of the earth on which we live is called lithosphere. Atmosphere, the gaseous layers that surround the earth is called atmosphere. The area covered by water body is called hydrosphere. And biosphere, the narrow zone where we find land, water and air together, which contains all forms of life. So these are the four major domains which are found on the earth. So this is atmosphere, hydrosphere, lithosphere and these three uh, domains wherever they used to meet the narrow zone where all these three layers overlap we can say as biosphere. Now lithosphere. The solid portion of the earth is called lithosphere. The hard portion, this is the hard portion of the earth which consists of the crust part and it comprises the rocks and soils of the earth. In the Greek language, lithos means stone, it includes continents only and there are seven major continents. All the land masses are connected with one another. So I am showing all the four major domains. Two main divisions of the earth surface we can say continents and ocean basins. And the level of sea water remains the same everywhere. And from this level of sea, only whatever the elevation of land, the height, we used to measure. Because the level of sea we can consider as zero. I am showing this is the level of sea. From here only height is measured. The highest mountain peak Mount Everest, which is 8,848 meters above the sea level, and the greatest depth of 11,022 meters, which is recorded at Mariana Trans in the Pacific Ocean. Edmund Hillary and Tanjing Norge Serpa were the first men to climb the highest mountain peak, that is Mount Everest. Jang Kotabe was the first woman to reach the summit, and the first Indian woman to climb this Mount Everest was Bachandri Pal. So, this is the picture of the sea level. Seven major continents, Asia, Europe, Africa, North America, South America, Australia and Antarctica. And the greater part of land mass which lies in the northern hemisphere only. So, here I am showing the Asia. Asia is the largest continent. It covers one third of the total land area of the earth. It lies completely in the eastern hemisphere. Tropic of Cancer passes through this continent. So not only Tropic of Cancer but also Arctic Circle and the equator also passes through this continent. Asia is separated by Ural Mountains from Europe on the west. The combined landmass of the Europe and Asia is called Eurasia. So this is Europe map. Europe is much smaller than Asia. The continent lies to the west of Asia and the Arctic Circle which is an important parallel passes through this 
continent. It is bound by water bodies on three sides, northern side by Arctic Ocean, western side by Atlantic Ocean, and southern part of Europe, which is uh, covered by Mediterranean Sea. This is Africa. Second largest continent after Asia is Africa. Equator, Tropic of Cancer, and Tropic of Capricorn. These are the three important parallels passes through this continent. A large portion of Africa lies in the Northern Hemisphere. Sahara, which is the world's largest, hottest desert, which is located in Africa, and world's longest river Nile flows through this Africa. This is the continent of North America, which is the third largest continent, and it is linked to South America by a narrow strip of land, which is called Isthmus of Panama. It lies completely in the Northern and Western Hemisphere. Three oceans surround this continent, Pacific, Atlantic, and Arctic Ocean. What is Isthmus? A narrow strip of land which joins two large land masses. This is South America. But it lies mostly in the Southern Hemisphere. The Andes, the world's longest mountain range, runs through this land from north to south. It has the world's largest river, the Amazon, and two oceans surround it, Pacific in the west and Atlantic in the east. This is the map of Australia, which is the smallest continent. Entirely, it lies in Southern Hemisphere. And it is surrounded on all sides by the oceans or the seas. So we can say as Australia is island continent. And this is the map of Antarctica. It lies completely in the southern hemisphere. It is a huge continent and South Pole lies almost at the center of this continent. As it is located in the South Polar region, it is permanently covered with thick ice sheets, And there are no permanent human settlements. So many countries have research stations in Antarctica and India also has research stations and there there are Maitri and Daksin Gangotri. Thank you.